Hello and welcome back to Realms Forgotten and the utter insanity that is smithing at this point in the game because I've actually now finally gotten to a point where we can start unlocking some of the axe heads themselves. Now what's really funny about this, I'm not sure whether this is predetermined by the game itself or maybe, uh, I don't know, Better Smithing Continued has some kind of option that I've enabled by mistake or maybe it's just enabled by default. I think it's probably a base game thing, but anyway, the point is, what I'm trying to say is, these axe heads are insanely difficult to unlock. I'm not entirely sure why, because I am only making and smelting two-handed axes. And what I've actually encountered here is this. This is the only axe head I had available for the entirety of the time, up until the last little bit of crafting that I did, which was about uh, well, it was about basically about two minutes ago just before I started recording. And then all of a sudden I started to get axe heads unlocked. But what I found really funny about that is everything else, like these, the pommels and everything, look at how many pommels I unlocked. Huge amounts of pommels, huge amounts of handles, and this was the only axe head I had unlocked up until this very moment. And I found that absolutely ludicrous. I think that's ridiculous, but there you go. Anyway, we're just gonna be uh, getting a little bit of charcoal here just so that I can continue actually, you know, doing some refining, well, refining and smelting, because you can see here we have a huge amount of stuff here. I'm probably not going to be using any of these things, so we're just going to continue doing that. And what we should do... What the? <laughs> what? <laughs> that is absolutely... Can I use that? I want to use that. I think that would be amazing. Can I even, can it, can, does it even work? That, that, oh, hello. I think we have now maybe seen my, wait a minute. Do you think, can I even, can I even use this? The swing speed is 62. But if I put a different handle on this, for example, let's say that I put this one, I can literally make this work. I'm going to make it slightly, slightly smaller. <laughs> yes, he makes it slightly smaller. Does that make a difference? No, it doesn't. Yes, indeed. Okay, yeah. Well, whatever the case. Um, yeah, this is hilarious. This is absolutely fantastic, by the way. I think this is great. Um, yeah, okay. Weapon reach. Let's do weapon reach a little bit more. And let's make it. It's going to be a broken one. But it's going to get me to 125 in smithing, which I'm... I'm but as I said, I, I personally don't really mind about that too much. But yeah, it's going to get me a broken one. Let's see what the stats are. Because the thing is, does it matter? Because this is such an amazing weapon. I mean, you can see here, look at it. Every single thing about it is amazing. Look at, look at how massive this thing is. Can I even use it? I don't know. I don't know whether I can even use it. But if I can, then we'll try to get a little bit of a higher skill. And then we will uh, make a proper one that actually has a decent name. Because at the moment, the name is literally Broken to Crafted Two-Handed Axe or something along those lines, which is obviously not very in keeping with our, you know, uh, absolutely flawless image and not at all an absolutely oh. idiotic image. <laughs> and I'm talking about my own, my own character here. Anyway, we're just going to wait here for some time for the deserters to come in and we're just going to attack them because... This is a really, really good chance for me to try out this weapon. Maybe it's going to be completely useless because, let's face it, I'm not a giant. I believe this is a giant's weapon. And... No, I can use it. And I can use it at its fastest speed. Ooh. All right. All right. I found something amazing. Very, very pleased about that. Okay. Let's see if we can... I'm just going to charge. I'm just going to charge and then we'll see what we can do. This is obviously going to absolutely chunk enemies if I can actually hit them with it. Uh, okay. <laughs> of course. Of course. There we go. Oh, 400. Normal. 400 normal, not even a headshot. Okay, that's hilarious. This is absolutely fantastic. Makes me want to be a giant next time, eh? It does make me want to be a giant. But the, the thing is, with a giant, you're going to have a massive hitbox. And it's going to be extremely difficult to actually, you know, do anything. Um, so it might be 
ill-advised to be a giant, but this is absolutely hilarious and super fun, actually. These are the kinds of things I absolutely love in Total Conversions, where sometimes you are able to do this kind of thing. Obviously, as I've said before, this is very much a work in progress. I'm just having fun right now with this. This is obviously not how it's supposed to be, but I think it's cool. And actually, I, I know that some people are going to be not so pleased about it, but for me personally, I think this is absolutely fantastic. I really, really like this, just because it is just pure fun and, you know, reckless abandon and, you know, just absolutely fantastic stuff like that. You know, it's nothing, it's not taking itself seriously in this regard. Obviously, it's not intended, as I say, but I, I think that that's, um, I think that's fantastic. I really love that. All right. Well, whatever the case, um, <laughs> let's see what actually happens here, because obviously I uh, do want to leave. I am going to be leaving my faction and we'll be joining someone else. So let's have a look and see who is at war against who? Okay, so the Elvians are actually at war against two different people. So I think, shall we join the Elvians? I think that sounds like a pretty good idea. Let's do that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait um, until I get within Elvian territory and until I, oh, there's Pelosaur. Hey, 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 Pelosaur. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's just leave the kingdom here. And we're just going to speak to these guys. Hello there, sir. Uh, I think the one thing about my axe at the moment that I am currently not too pleased about is the fact that we don't have a huge amount of reach on it. We have about 104, which is not actually, in my opinion, not actually that good. So we're going to have to redo that. And who knows, maybe I can actually do something in, in this particular place just before we head into more battles, because there are inevitably going to be some battles waiting for us up ahead in this territory. I mean, why wouldn't there be, right? Why wouldn't there be? Anyway, let's see here. Mm, I kind of want to sell some stuff. I'm not sure whether I can. Let's actually just equip some things here. Uh, there we go. Nothing to equip. Okay, great. Let's sell all of it. 17,000. Not too bad. And we can also sell a bunch of stuff here as well if we want to, which I will. And yeah. Okay. So first of all, what we can do. Oh, look, there's a troll one-handed axe. Well, that's funny. An Elvian Battle Hammer. It's a two-handed mate. It's got a terrible... Oh, it's got a terrible reach, which is quite sad. The Sledgehammer has a very good reach. Well, not, 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 not a great reach, but it's got a much better reach than the other one. So, might be something to consider. But, yeah, anyway, I'm obviously here to get the wooden hammers and the regular pitchforks because obviously we had some people say that in the comments that, you know, hey, you know what, you should probably do this. And I have done this kind of thing in the past. Uh, I just thought, hey, you know what, maybe we don't want to spend huge amounts of cash on that. But obviously it is far and away the best to get hardwood, as you can quite clearly tell. Anyway, uh, yeah, now we can go and we can actually start making something slightly better. Obviously, if we want to make something insane then we can obviously do that. But we're just going to try and make something as high difficulty as possible, just so that I can get some easy, easy skill points. There we go. And this should be fine. Can we... Oh, wow. Yeah, we're not really getting very good skill points from this, actually. Surprisingly enough, I would have... I would have actually expected a little bit more than that, actually, to be fair, but okay. Never mind, we didn't. Okay, so 117. Okay, I think we're probably going to use something like this. And then we'll do this. We have enough. Oh, no, we don't. Almost. Almost have enough. Okay, we should probably smelt some more things then, shouldn't we? Uh, is this actually going to give me what I need? Is this actually going to give me smithing? Yep, it does. Slightly. Let's actually just do a bunch of this. There we go. Okay, that's, that's enough then, I suppose. Right? Yeah, I think that's enough. Ooh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, this one's slightly more in keeping. Oh, I don't really want to do that, though. It looks cool. Don't get me wrong. It looks cool. But I kind of want to use that massive, massive thing for, for hilarity's sake. You know what? We're still going to do that. I'm still going to use the hilarious thing. Okay, weapon reach 100. I want something more than that, please. 141. But the swing speed is really, really slow. Ah... Uh, Looks like I won't be able to actually... Oh, wait a minute. I might be able to do this one. Yes, yes. Look at this. Aha, uh -huh. 128 weapon reach. That is what we like to see. 
All right. Yeah, that is what we are going to do. And let's call it something cool. Let's call it... Um, uh, <laughs> oh, no. Planet Cracker. Yes. Uh, it, I mean, come on. It, it is. Look at it. It can literally crack the planet in two, I think, at this point. That is, I'm, v version Earth Mode sc Scavenger Apocalyptic... Uh, destruction one. Yeah, there we go. Absolutely perfect. Now, for those of you that are thinking, what is that name? Don't worry. Don't worry. You'll see exactly the reason why. It's a secret code, okay? It's a secret code. I found this on the Bannerlord wiki. And if you name your weapon this, it gains all kinds of incredible attributes. I'm obviously playing around and not entirely serious. Um, but <laughs> uh, who who believed me? Who believed me for a second there? Eh? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, Berserker is what we're going to be going for with our two-handed skills. And who are we actually at war against? Okay, the Southern Empire or Southern Realm of Man. And we're also at war against the Nasorians. I think we'll probably go over here. I think we can probably um, we can probably fight some of the Southern Empire quite easily, or hopefully we will be able to at least. Um, yeah, the problem with doing this, though, of course, is having to walk around in these random places. We just got uh, 8,400 from Arcane winning the tournament there, which is actually very nice. Hello there, sir. I will fight you. I will just do a nice little auto-resolve for you, sir, and then I will move on because you are not worth my time. There we go. That is exactly what's going on. All right, so yeah, we should probably actually equip this because, yes, we kind of need to, don't we? So yeah, it has a length now of 128 because my one before had a length of only 104. So this is massively, massively better in regards to using it on horseback. So I'm very much looking forward to this. Oh, come on, come on. Can we get into a battle with this guy? Yes, I think I can. Ooh, okay. I, why is he so? Why is he so fast? Does he have a huge amount of cavalry? He doesn't. Look at that. He's just got infantry. What's going on with him? Okay. He seems to be, you know, running at the speed of light for some reason. I, I don't know what's going on with that, but there you go. Anyway, um, yeah, we're basically just going to go straight for it. Shall we? I've got so many archers now, actually. I've got 44 archers for some reason. I guess all the Nasorians have, uh, you know, slowly leveled up into, uh, into crossbowmen and everything. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, the only thing that's actually letting me down about this now is me and um well my character's body because let's face it uh you know obviously if you're oh oh okay that is that is incredible oh, I, oh you know you know what's really funny me swinging this and they're able to block it that is always extremely funny in my opinion okay yeah well we'll just take out a bunch of those I'm just gonna tell everyone to charge why not oh yeah that's the kind of thing i'm talking about Yep, that is exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about. We easily would have been able to basically kill everyone. We're just weak. You know, we're just super weak at the moment. And that's the reason why. So that actually brings me to my next point. I think what I'm actually going to do is for the upcoming battles, I'm probably going to get off my mount and we're going to just fight on foot. Because if I actually fight on foot, we are going to have a much easier time of gaining athletic skill. And obviously, athletic skill is really, really important for us for a variety of reasons. And uh, hopefully, I'm going to actually be able to get up to the um, athletic skill that I need to actually be, you know, um, a little bit more, uh, you know, a little bit more defensible, shall we say. A little bit more defensible. Oh, hello, Avalitos. And there is the forest people as well. We're just going to go into here. Do we? I have enough HP. Barely. I barely have enough HP. So now we're actually going to have to run in with our with our troops. So I'm just going to get off my mount. This fellow is more more likely to be the one that would use something like this. As you can see, I'm just going to tell my forces to charge in and we'll we'll actually charge in with them, but on foot this time. And if there are any cavalry that want to come and uh, you know attempt to attack me or anything like that, then uh, they are welcome to do so. Cuz I will slash at them. And it will be a futile effort, but we may indeed end up getting a kill. Who knows? 
Okay, so the enemy is all over here. Okay, let's see what we can do. Oh, look at that. It actually has multiple, multiple targets, potentially, that it can attack. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, that is insanity. That is absolutely incredible. Okay, love it. Absolutely love it. I can barely see anything, actually, as I'm slashing around here, but do I need to? That's the question. Do I need to see anything? Probably not, because everything in front of me just dies. Oh, yes. That's incredible. Wow. This is, this is literally one of the... This is this, probably this is some of the most fun that I've had creating my very own weapon Because in the past obviously, you know, it's gonna be very realistic. So it's obviously gonna be just a normal sized whatever sword mace axe, you know, whatever even throwing weapons and um, Now because of this it's absolutely incredible super super fun And yeah, I know it's unrealistic. I get it. I, I know. I know it's unrealistic. But this is indeed a fantasy total conversion. If you, you you know, you remember, we've got magic, you know. We've got magic. We've got fantasy races and everything. So, you know, maybe we can uh, stretch the believability scale a little bit. Anyway, let's have a look. See here. What are we getting? Firebrand. Yeah, probably, probably do that, I guess. It doesn't really matter to me, to be honest. But there you go. We'll just try it. What about engineering? Do we want more engineering? Yeah, I guess we'll go for some more engineering. And I do need to try to restore myself quite a bit. Abelitos could have actually gone in and attacked me there, but he decided not to. Are we more powerful than him? I somehow doubt it, but maybe he thinks that we are. And in which case, that's very strange. I'm not entirely sure why he would think that, but okay. Anyway, um, yeah. Otherwise, I can basically just wait here for a little bit of time. Unfortunately, Arcane the Surgeon is not doing very well in regards to his medicine. Not sure why he's only at 65. In my opinion, he should be at a much higher um, much higher level at this point. Ooh, what do we got going on here? Aha, hello. There's this, a, bit, a bit of a siege going on, potentially. So, let's have a look. Okay, they just defeated a massive Nasorian army by the looks of things. So, we can actually make our way on over to here. Actually, you know what? Yes, I'm completely forgetting to do this. We need to have a quick look. There we go. Let's go over here. Ooh. Mm. Okay, unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that we could recruit some noble units from here. Because we have a lot of space. Oh, wow. Okay, so the Elvians are just absolutely massacring every single thing in sight. So do we want to join... Mengus! Mengus is in there. Look at him. There he is. Mengus is actually a part of uh, a part of the Elvians. This is obviously our Mengus from the uh, from the previous series, from the uh, Europe eleven hundred series. Isn't it? Is it? No, probably not. All, all things considered, it probably isn't him. But who knows? What if it is? What if it is? We don't know. Anyway, we're just going to let this guy go. Uh, yeah, we're just going to gain uh, significant amounts of, well, basically every single thing for doing this. And we'll just continue replacing our gear with our friends there. And we have another person coming in as well. Let's just try and fight him. Easy enough. Basically, these, these kinds of battles, I'm just going to be auto-resolving because there is... Well, very little point in me going in against them, unless we want to, you know, level, le le you know, level ourselves up. And in which case, yeah, I would definitely love to do that. But I would also love to do a siege. So I'm very much hoping that we're going to be doing a siege around about here. This could be cool. Stop oh, there, what, Peter. what? These guys, what? This guy of the forest Elvians? Okay. Why is he fighting Enough. against the Elvians? Why is he naked now? Why are you naked? Why are you naked? Get out of here, you, you scoundrel. Okay, I have no idea what's going on with him. Anyway, ooh, demon lords. Mmm. All right, I'll take those. Thank you very much. They sound fun. I'll just take all of them, actually. And then we'll just take all the rest. There we have it. Okay, so these people are, yeah, quite heavily fortified. I'm actually kind of kind of surprised that Kulan is not doing anything to besiege it. Is he actually going there now? Yes, there we go. He is finally besieging something. As I suspected, he might. 
So yeah, that's that's good at least. So hopefully me sticking around here is going to pay off. Join the continuing siege. There we go. And we can actually get some people leveled up. There we are. And then we can just continue getting engineering skill. Ooh, Joron's army is really, really close by. Okay, this might be really, really bad for us. If they get any additional troops, we might have some problems. Okay, that, yeah, we're... we're I, I don't know, actually. Should I... Should I actually... Wait a minute. Can I... Oh, I, I kind of want to attack one of these guys. You know, like divide and conquer, but... It doesn't seem like that is going to work. Going to have to go around like so. Maybe... Ooh, hello. Can we... Oh, no, I'm just going to help this guy. Just going to help the help the caravan real quick. There we go. Nice no. and easy. Nice and easy. He's naked as well. What's, what's going on there? Anyway, there we go. Let's do this. We've got... Mm -hmm. Okay, some of these guys could, we could potentially take. I don't know whether we really should. Some of them are a bit too... Mm, I'm not sure. A bit too low tier, potentially. But we are distracting the army, which I suppose is pretty good. Because otherwise I think Kulan would have been attacked. Let's go and attack this fellow. It's ah, nice. We've got two of them. Okay, this is great. This is actually something that I'm very, very much wanting to fight. Because as you can see, we have the equal numbers. My combat strength is severely greater than theirs. But does that matter? I don't know. I don't think it really does. So I think we should be completely fine. So let's have a look-see here. Um, yeah, as I said, we're probably going to be getting off my mount and we're just going to be having a whale of a time uh, just being an infantry. I actually prefer being infantry most of the time anyway. Um, just because it reminds me of the Berserker series and the Duelist series and I absolutely loved both of those because the, the play style is just so dramatically different. You don't have to run around on your horse. You don't have to worry about pole arm units or anything like that. You can basically just, you know, charge at the opponent and murder as many of them as possible. That's kind of how you do things. Anyway, let's just do a little bit of something with our cavalry ourselves. Get them over there. Unfortunately, the enemy is quite defensive. Uh, yeah, that's obviously going to be a bit of an issue, isn't it? Maybe. Maybe it's going to be a bit of an issue. It depends. Hello, hello cavalry. Do you want to come closer to this large axe? Please go uh, okay, no, no, they're not they're not deciding to do that. This is hilarious. Okay, okay, come on. Come on. You you wanna fight me, you wanna fight me. I'm just a small little person. Yes. Here we go. Ah, are you joking? Get Get out of here. Get Are you serious? The horse survived? The horse survived getting hit by this? Really? Alright, well. That's how it goes. <laughs> that is how it goes. Maybe I should have taken the thing that increases damage to to mounts. That probably would have made sense, but I mean you can see here how much damage we're able to do once they are off their mounts, of course. Nice damage. Alright, let's tell my uh, cavalry to charge in. Let's tell my infantry to go a little bit closer. Archers a little bit closer as well. Ow. That was really bad. Oh well, never mind. No, please don't shoot me now. Are you serious? No, do not shoot me, Saz. I would very much appreciate it if you could just let me live until I've killed an, an, uh, another handful of you, please. <laughs> uh, they're not listening. 100% they are not listening, but you know. Well, there you go. We did end up actually getting quite a few kills, though. I don't even know how, how well my athletic skill is actually advancing, but I can only hope that it's doing reasonably. I don't really need it to level super fast, but it would be nice if it was a, a bit quicker. Obviously, that's the thing. I don't even need to go into two-handed combat. I could technically, technically just stand back and use my spells if I wanted to get a huge amount of athletic skill. You know, because I obviously did that before when I was riding on my, my mount and I was just getting insanely rewarded for that. So there is obviously the possibility of doing those kinds of things that way, um, but it very much just depends on what you want to do. Anyway, we're just going to rescue as many of these guys as we can. 
because now we've actually got some Elvian units. We've got a whole smattering of different kinds of units right now, which is actually super, super cool. And, uh, oh yeah, okay, so wait a minute. Let's actually just have a quick look here. So, Woodrunners become Spearmen, and indeed, oh, Berserkers as well. Okay, and then what else? Fighters become Swordsmen, and then Champions or Knights. Okay, we'll go with the Fighters, I guess. And what else can we get here? We can get this guy, and that's basically it. There we are. Okay, fantastic. There we go. And we are, we are just globe trotting right now. We are going from point to point to point and working for basically every single person under the sun, which is actually quite funny. But yes, anyway, I can't just let you go. Okay. Yeah. Well, we're just gonna just gonna fight you real fast. Seems like someone actually dies um, because this is actually just a um, a leaderless party of troops. And, um, yeah, that's the reason why we had that particular dialogue. Um, hilariously enough, though, we are getting some amazing horse armor just now. And there it is. Wow. Cataphract scale barding. This is, you, you never see this usually in a loot, um, a loot screen. That's actually kind of crazy. All right. Well, I'm, I'm perfectly happy with that. Thank you very much. And let's just see what else is going on here. I don't really want to go into any additional battles right now because I don't have a huge amount of HP. I, I, I don't mind going in if I'm going to auto-resolve, but generally it would be a good idea not to do that. Um, what about this? Here we go. We can fight her if we want to. She's only got 78. Technically, I don't even need to fight her, but obviously farming Renown is really, really important right now. Okay, so first of all, let's actually just try and get a little bit more athletic skill. Just going to charge everyone, let my archers... Mm, I'm going to actually tell them to do their own thing. I'm just going to, you know, auto-delegate them for the moment. And hopefully that's going to work out real well for us. And let me just get my spells out. I, ca I can't see... <laughs> oh dear that's a bit of an issue isn't it if I actually hit some of my own troops but um, is it worth it yeah I think so Zombus so sorry 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 <laughs> uh, that is hilarious but I mean you can see here that do we actually gain athletic skill for it I think we do right yeah 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 as you can see we do gain athletic skill so the only thing I need to do is when we are actually in a battle that is slightly more populated, we just need to fire off a couple of spells into their lines, level up our athletic skill that way. It's going to be much, much easier for us. And then once we have a really good amount of athletics, we can actually go and, you know, just have the utter confidence that we're not going to die in two hits. No, we'll just die in three hits then. Uh, or maybe one, you know, one or three, either one. But yeah, there you go. <laughs> anyway, uh, we've got a massive amount of troops actually trying to do something here, but I'm not going to let them do that. I'm just going to walk over here, try to do a nice little auto resolve against this fellow. Just try to keep them, keep them down as much as possible. Because if we do that, then it's actually going to make things just that much easier for us when they come back inevitably to fight us. Because they're just going to have you know, 50 to 60 troops, and that's going to be super easy for us to deal with. Like, for example, um, Ira right here, you can see she has 67 troops, and I can just very quickly auto-resolve against that, gain a significant amount of, I'm just going to wait, 10 renown, actually pretty good, 10 renown for such a small party of troops, very, very pleased to see that. And we can also take all of these. I'm not actually going to take all of these because I'd actually like to start converting some of my prisoners, and um, yeah, that's obviously going to be a bit more of a priority right now because those prisoners are higher tier than most of the ones that we can actually, um, you know, upgrade. Anyway, there we go. I do have one extra here, so I'm just going to get rid of one of these. Um, let me just let me just upgrade real fast, and then we can actually do that. Let me see here. Yep, there we go. Get rid of that guy, and that's absolutely fine. All right, perfect. Now, we do have some more people around here. I'm still waiting. Kulan, would you mind actually besieging this? Or what is he doing? Because he seems like a... a um, I don't know. He seems like a bit of a hesitant fellow. I'm not entirely sure why. But he is taking his sweet time 
in besieging this, which is very, very strange to me, but oh well, never mind. Okay, well, hit point regeneration, no, while traveling is what I'm going to go for. And let's try to fight Zeno here, because obviously this guy, he's got a pretty large army. This is going to be pretty good for us to be able to level up our athletic skill. So hopefully we can actually do that. And let me just move straight forward here. Oh, I can't believe I actually missed that. Okay, well, I can. <laughs> it's me, after all. Anyway, let me see. Okay, switch. Oh, yeah, first person actually would make much more sense, wouldn't it? Okay. Um, yeah, there we go. Yeah, hit one of my own troops. Yep, that's what I like to do. Absolutely fantastic. Great. Well, that seems like it's going to be it. I don't even know how much we actually got there, but we got 23 kills and I got 10. Okay, apparently only 10 athletics. That's it's kind of strange. Not sure why we're getting so few athletic skill, but we did gain a significant amount of crossbow skill, which I suppose is decent enough in itself, because that means that we're going to be doing even more damage, which I very much appreciate. So we're just going to be heading on from here can take all the loot. I do actually need to go to a town, so that's the main reason why I was actually hoping that he'd take that. But there is a town nearby anyway, so I should be able to very easily go over. Are we making peace with them? Yes. As I suspected, yeah. They made peace with them, and that means we no longer have the opportunity to take that particular town, which I am now livid about, but there you go. You know, they decide to do that, and that's what, exact that's what happens, you know? Anyway, we're getting 56,000 for this. What I'm actually going to do is we're just going to go very quickly and purchase some iron pitchforks. There's no Pugios here, unfortunately, but uh, we're just going to buy a couple just because of smelting. And it's just going to reduce the, um, the negative value that they're having in there at the time. We can also escort the merchant caravan if we want to. And there is also a tournament here to do too, if we want to do that. Um, but we have a significant amount of cash, as you see, because we are just literally... Uh, just destroying every single vassal in the area and gaining a massive amount of influence in the process. And obviously gaining this influence results in a direct increase in our mercenary wages. So this is absolutely fantastic to do. Anyway, my crossbow skill is at 208. I actually thought it increased to 250. But I think that's probably because of the other thing. The... Uh, the wand itself that I currently have equipped does increase your crossbow skill for uh, as long as you have it equipped, of course. Anyway, we are still at war against the Nasorians, and they seem to actually be taking this. So let me actually just go over there and see exactly what's happening. Whoa, okay, hello. That is a massive army, and I'm not sure whether the Elvians are even going to be able to defend against this. But Kulan is coming. No, they're going in. They're going in. Okay, so let's actually see what's happening here. Shall we do it? Shall we go in? I think we should, right? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, let's just get another one of these guys. I mean, I only have one space. So, yeah, let's just go straight on in here. Yeah, I mean, look, oh, come on. Okay, the numbers speak for themselves. We are quite clearly going to have the advantage here. But it just depends on how long am I going to survive. That's the question here. How many of my troops are actually on the field? Six. Right. Ah. Well, I'm probably not going to be doing much with uh, commanding, at least. I will try to do some damage against these fellows, though, because they are horse archers, and uh, I think I can probably do some damage against them. Easily enough. Easily enough. Easily enough, I said, Arcane. Easily enough. Thank you. Thank you. There we are. Finally. Oh, that guy. <laughs> that guy crumpled. That fellow died as well. There we are.
Well, it looks to me like the Elvians are absolutely slaughtering their opponents right now, and no wonder the Nasaurians weren't really able to do too much against them. Ow. Well, there you go. <laughs> Oh, I kind of thought that would happen as soon as I saw these guys coming over with their spears and everything. It was basically a, well, an inevitable situation that was just going to occur no matter what I did. But there you go. Anyway, we very easily will be achieving victory here. And I, I, I think the Elvians have insane archers, right? Do they have really, really good archers? It seems like that. Yep, Elvian Champion Archers. They are the ones getting all the kills right now, as you can quite clearly see. Look at that. They are literally just racking up the kills like no one's business. Even if there's only 18 or so on the field, they are literally... Just look at this. Look at, look at what is actually happening on the field here. Because the enemy is coming in, they're spawning in, and then they're just getting absolutely shredded by the enemy's archers. Well, so it's... it's by their enemy's archers, shall we say, because they're not my enemy, thank goodness, but yes, anyway, we did gain a small reward for participating, but yeah, that wasn't that wasn't really the, the purpose of the whole situation, you know, I kind of wanted to get some experience, but we were unfortunately not able to do so, because I am an idiot, but there you go, we were able to at least get something from it, we got a little bit of loot as well. And let's actually see, uh, no, I'm, no, I'm not in a herd problem, not having any kind of herd problems or anything like that. And we were able to defend against the town, and the Nasaurians absolutely, they just got obliterated. Ah, oh, what do we have here? He remarks on your growing reputation and asks if you would consider pledging yourself as a vassal of the El Neril Yanfir. Who's this? Who's that? El N Neril, what? They're not even here. Is that is that the Elvians? Is that the Elvians asking me, actually? It might be the Elvians asking me. That might be the reason. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, I understand. This guy's actually, a, actually the leader. Right, yeah, he is the ruler of the Kingdom of Elvians. Okay, so actually, you know what? I'm thinking maybe we should join them. What do you think? Shall we join them? Well, I don't really know. But if you have an idea whether we should join them or not, as a vassal that is, then by all means, let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.